Well, Denise Denovi gave me a call saying that she was very hopeful that Richard and I would reunite. At that point in time, I will be coming off of four months straight of work at that point. And I'd have to clear it with my family and figure out our summer. And she's a working mom. She gets it. So we had a working mom in the story, a working mom in the producing, a working mom in the actress. And we all found a way to, to, to do it. And when I spoke to Richard on the phone, we had both read the screenplay maybe as long as two or three years previously. There was another version that had been floating around and they had improved the screenplay so much and fleshed out uh, elements of the story um, and of course the notebook had come out and everybody was very excited about you know Nick Sparks books being very cinema friendly and there's just a lot of hope in the air so when, when Richard called me and I was in Toronto he said so are you gonna do this and I knew when he asked me like that that the answer was going to be yes. It was just a funny thing. And it was great. Let's see. The first time I worked with Richard, I was 18. And the next time was 18 years after that. And so now I would say the third time is the charm. <laughs> I mean, we had a sort of built-in cliffhanger, the way we left things with Unfaithful. Uh, there seems to be a very large demographic of people who want to see us again. And that's understandable because even when I saw Unfaithful, I, I kind of wanted more uh, completion of understanding how these people possibly recovered. And, and we do have this chemistry on film. Even I just was watching Cotton Club the other night on cable. And there we are. And um, we do it well. And, you know, Richard has become even more and more and more of a concerned, thoughtful person, especially when it comes to work. And we dance well together, you know, literally and, and in our work. He, he's very supportive and he guides well. Adrian is a woman who has just had her husband ask to come back into their family after basically dumping her for another woman. And I'm sorry, but I find it very hard to know how I would personally deal with that one, uh, especially if the children are being kind of manipulated into taking sides and suddenly Adrian is the bad guy for saying, you know, I just need a moment to consider what this means to me to act as though that didn't happen and we can all be a happy family again after such a betrayal of trust. So we meet her and she needs that time to think about this offer and, um, and she meets Richard. Oh, sure. I mean, it's interesting how people, especially, I guess, moms and, and parents in general, you know, you prioritize your roles in your life and how it affects others. And, you know, you can have gold star on your report card about being good for other people, but if, in fact, you have some resentments about that that you haven't dealt with because you're not taking responsibility for your own happiness. I mean, there comes a point in parenting where you have to set the example for your children of being responsible for your own joy and what that looks like. And that's empowering. That's a message in itself. So that is part of her evolution. It was lovely to film, actually, in Rodanthe, and the house itself <laughs> was a bit challenging because it was really being reclaimed by the sea. Um, 
certainly had some comical moments with the waves coming in uh, where they shouldn't have been. <laughs> it's wonderful to film in a beautiful location, and the story is very affected by the location, and, and as actors, we were very affected to be where the story takes place. You can't replicate that. It's important. I have a healthy respect for storms. We had just had one prior to filming uh, in that location, and it did damage the set. It took away the stairs. It took away all the sand of the beach. Uh, they needed to spend some time and money reconstructing so that we could film there.